Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Darren. I hope you're safe and well and having a good stitch week. So today I'm doing a stitch with me on this one, which is a magical moment in time. Heaven and Earth design by Sierra Machetti, or however you pronounce his name. <laughs> <laughs> so, my apologies, but this one will more likely be darkish colours. Because all this is all the same colours. <laughs> So apologies. So let me just figure out where I'm going to be starting from. So we'll see how long we can make this video. <laughs> I'll aim for an hour. Yes, my arm and my hands are probably going to be in the way. Because it's just how I roll. Probably hear the birds in the background. They're out in force this morning. Well, we are on half past seven in the morning. I'm a lay in today. We're up at six. Although the tiger did wake me up at quarter past four. And at five o'clock. <laughs> I wanted feeding. Probably be able to get the dishwasher as well. I'll put the dishwasher on. Oh, it's a bit chilly this morning. Oh, it's only like 7 degrees. It's meant to be warming up though to about 25, 26 I think. It's a couple of nice warm days. It's been good. Not too hot, but just nice. I'm assuming that'll probably ramp up there soon. I'm going to be back up to 30, 30 degrees by next weekend. It's going to be a warm weekend. And I think the kids are on holiday soon as well. It's going to be fun. I think they're going for two weeks, I think. Oof. Shane's down at his friends. Went to his mum and dad's yesterday. I went and did a service on the car. I went to his friends. And on the way back, he's got a call in at his mum and dad's to pick some stuff up that he forgot to pick up. <laughs> stitching in yesterday. So I worked on mini top frog. Good stitchy day in yesterday. Well how much stitching I'll get done in today but this mini top frog gets two days. It gets a all weekend, especially when we're having the uh, challenge with the Lara. It out by the end of this month, they to have completed the whole row that I'm on, and then for each month going on, I need to complete a page and a half <laughs> because it's like only a page and a half. Well, it's a page and a bit underneath for the last row, so I need to try and get at least a page a month done in order to be able to complete this challenge by the end of the year. Whether I can do that or not is a different thing. Well, it depends on how much stitch time I get. Uh, if we end up having to do any overtime or anything to work. And two, if I end up having to run around doing anything, or... Because you know life will get in the way. So... 
Might be. Pretty okay this week. <laughs> so one of the lads is off. He's on holiday. So his saw was free. So one of the other guys was going to go on his saw. And the boss decided they didn't want that saw running. Or one of the other saws running. So there was three of them on the splitting saw. And then now the other guy working with me on my saw. And then on Thursday, he, the boss then decided he wanted the other two saws up and running. No, one of the saws up and running. So one of the guys was had his saw going and then decided he was going to move on to another saw for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, on the saw the guy who's um, on holiday. So he moved everything around there. And he went to empty the sawdust bag from the extractor, whatever you call it, and put his back out. The bag was full. Instead of asking anyone someone to help him, he was trying to be Mr. Muscles, and put his back out. So he was at work for literally an hour. <laughs> so then the boss wasn't happy about that. Because, well, I can go to the gym and do all this stuff at the gym and then pick a bag of sawdust up and put it back out, as he put it. <laughs> not his fault. The bags can go whenever you want, whenever they want to. So the boss wasn't happy about that. So then, he wanted the other saw sort of going. So, it was originally going to put the other lad on who was working with me. He said to Zena what he was doing on that saw. I said, well, he's new so saws before, so he should do. Anyway, I ended up keeping him on my saw, and I went on to this other saw. But the other lad, he's been there before, then he left, and then he's come back. So he should know what he's doing. But he's one of these, he doesn't listen. <laughs> you tell him to do something, can he does it his own way? He's another one of those kind of people. So I went onto the other saw. Now this other saw, there is a bit, slight issue with it. We have, it's called a tiger stop. And it slides out to the length of the wood that you need to cut. Well, when it gets to a certain length, it, sometimes it jams. So you've got to reset it. And obviously, one of the lines I was having to cut was the one that went past this part. So it was always constantly jamming up. And I'm always resetting it. Oh, it was doing my head. And, and I was on that saw for two days. <laughs> two whole days. I'm working on that saw again. Um, so every two minutes, I've got the boss going over. It's like, he's not doing this right. He's not listening to me. He's doing this wrong. It's like, well, you're the boss, just tell him. So every two seconds the boss was over there and having words with him about what he needs to do and all this lot. And then every two seconds the boss was then changing what everyone was cutting and what lengths. And I was like, stop changing everything. I said, no wonder why he's not doing what you want him to do. I said, he's getting bloody confused. <laughs> so. And then the boss was on the the old splitting saw. So he was on there with Shane, splitting wood and there's wood getting split everywhere because in their great wisdom, as I mentioned before, they decided to get all this wood in and he's splitting. Instead of splitting it before we started cutting it, they got us to cut it all and then they were splitting it. So they're trying to keep up with what we're doing as well as splitting the wood. I don't get anything else done that needs doing on the splitting saw. So the way behind. So the, the packs I've been doing, they'd already split. They split those the other day. So which kind of makes it a bit easy. Not for me anyway. <laughs> and the boss goes to me, he says, when my son comes down, 
So this is one of those other hiring and firing and taking the orders. He says, tell him how crap this wood is. He says, you've been on this nearly enough all day. He says, you've only done one pack. Well, one main pack. And I was like, well, it's not the wood's fault. I said, it's the freaking saw's fault because I can't move it to where it needs to go. To. We had it jamming up and then I'm having to reset everything. But the bottom does all the ordering the wooden that he's, he's going to keep ordering that wood because one, it's cheap, and two, the company that we're sending it to like that wood compared to the wood that we used to send them. So he's so just going to keep ordering it anyway. So <laughs> it's like even if you tell him the wood's crap, he's still going to keep ordering it. Other than that, nothing exciting has really gone on for work. Oh, we had the... We got a new um, air compressor when we got the new splitting saw. Um, and that one, since I can, I look after it, <laughs> started beeping with a warning for oil. Plus it got to its allocated hours before servicing or whatever it needed. So we had to try and find out who we get to call to get the Beck to come out to do that. Anyway, and then we got, oh, we found them out. They came out, and this is, oh, I didn't need service in. This is, it's because it's new. He says, we have to check it after so many hours of running. He says, just to make sure there's no, like, oil leaks or anything like that. And I was like, oh, okay. Then I had him showing me some stuff on there, because when it originally was put in, they showed one of the other guys, and he never even touches the compressors. It never has done. It's always been me that sorts out the compressor. <laughs> so he showed me a couple of things that I need to do on there each week. Is that right? Fair enough. And that was it. Boring week of work. Oh, I have took a, a little video which I'll add on to <laughs> the end of this. And you'll see what I come into in the morning. So, all the cockaburrows, apologies, all the cockaburrows that we have at work sat waiting for me. So, I'm on the video, I'm pointing them out, and I missed the one that's actually sat on a bag. And you can clearly see it, but no, I don't point that one out. Um, so, I'll put that in at the end anyway. So. So you can see. Uh, this road runner, they not answer that text message. Because I know it's from, anyway. It's only from Shane. This is probably the neatest pack I've got out of all my projects. Look at it. Neat and tidy there is. <laughs> right. And we'll be back in a minute, guys. Okay, we're back. So, I told you it was shame. Yeah, it's feeling a bit worse for wear. Uh-huh. a... had a drink last night. I had some vodka drink. I have no idea what. And now he's suffering. Got a hangover. Well, 
going to him, he hasn't got a hangover, he's just got a headache. It's like, yeah, that's got a hangover, Shane. <laughs> a new plant for here because we haven't got enough plants to do so he's bought a tree dahlia so I like dahlias dahlias are one of my favorite plants so I've never heard of a tree dahlia before and he, he said he grows up to four meters well I had a look online and according to that they grow, grow up to ten meters so, oh, that's gonna be big but you cut them right back every year so I said like, okay different so we'll see what how that goes when that turns up. <laughs> There's one wanted a terrarium building, a kind of little, a small fish tank. And Shane wanted it originally for fish. And I was like, no, because <laughs> there's no lid for it. So we were going to do a terrarium, but then his mum wanted a terrarium building because we were building one. So it's now gone back down to his mum's. <laughs> They built, a, they built a little terrarium for them. But it was like, what soil do I put in it? It was like, I have no idea. I've never built one. I said, I'm assuming it'll be like cactus soil. Is what I assumed. Mm, where am I? No. So anyway, he went to Bunnings and they told him to put some clay balls in the bottom and then some soil on top and then in the wrong route. Yeah, some uh, clay balls in the bottom and then soil and then the plants. So there. That's what he's done. I don't know how many plants he's put in there. I think he's put three or four in. I think. So I'll see how long everyone can keep that alive. This is not the greatest with plants. She always wants plants doing and then she forgets to look after them and then they all die and then she wonders why they're dead. <laughs> so while I was on the phone with Shane, all the lorikeets came in because next door's got a uh, bottle brush tree. So it's got a, a bottle brush tree. So all the lorikeets come flying in to get the nectar from the bottle brush tree. There was a fair few of them all come flying in all at once. And here's going to be the fun part because I have to go everywhere on this bin. It's a lot easier doing this part, especially when you decide to do one colour first. <laughs>
which I will go through in a second. Loads of this color, I think, on the other, yeah, on the other page. <laughs> this is a bit filling in there. I don't know why I had the wise idea of starting with one color and filling that in first before doing any of the other, but hey, there we go. Sort out the uh, the catio bit. <laughs> or a bit of critter fun in there at the moment, because how we built it, we've not. It's, it's not all the way up to the roof, because it doesn't need to go all the way up to the roof. And we thought how we'd done it, they won't get any critters in. Yep, now we're getting geckos in. Um, we had a millipede in there. I think it's a millipede anyway. I don't know how the heck that came in there. Uh, We've had um, a small tree frog. Don't know the heck that got in there either. The tiger found that one, so I had to rescue that off him. Several geckos. Um, so yeah, we're getting quite a few critters in. So we need to go across the top and seal it off. So we're gonna, well, we were meant to be doing that this weekend. So I think as soon as Shane gets home, we'll be going to sleep. So that won't get done. <laughs> See if we can find a, a lighter colour and do a bit of lighter stitching. Look over here. Let's do a colour in there. This one is one that is kitted up with the uh, uh, Floss Anthology uh, folder, which is really, really good. Ooh. I said I'd throw it around, which is the one in the folder with all the colours in the book pockets. It's really, really good actually. Is so practical. Now I'm gonna have to scoot you along. So I'll try and cut this part out if I remember, but if not, I apologize if I make you feel sick. This one is the one with the metallic stitches in it. In the tiger. I haven't I've got the metallic for it. I haven't done any of it yet. <laughs> That's going to be fun when I do have to get around to doing that one. Because you've got to try and figure out whether it's the best way to do the metallic first and then the stitches, or the stitches and then the metallic. I think it's best off doing the stitches first and then doing the metallic afterwards. Or chronic, should I say. Because the chronic is a bit thicker. Well, that's the way I'm going to try it anyway.
do it. Like the colours in this one, this one's a very nice one. Colour wise. So far, anyway. Nice, it's Tiger in the garage. <laughs> and that's what he's doing. Probably in a box. Or two in a box, one of them. Question out, and I've only got one. Took a screenshot of it, don't worry. So, this is from Yes Tiger. What? You killed the box? Yes. No, he wasn't in the garage, he was in one in the front bedroom. <laughs> uh, so, this question is from Laura. Who is uh, loves rubber stamps and needle crafts, <laughs> and she wants to know uh, with your four coverage pieces. Do you stitch them all from a master set of DMC, or do you keep them all separately? I don't know where he's going off at. Um, so I don't. St Stitch from a master set. I was keeping them all up individually um, because that's the way I roll. <laughs> um, and also, if you use a master set, have you ever run into a dialog issue with them? Um, so I was going to do a master set. Um, I don't mind bobbins, so I was going to put them all on bobbins. Two seconds. Tiger! Sorry for shouting. Um, yes, I was going to do them all. I've seen people with those like double-sided cases that you can fit all the bobbins in for every single colour. Um, so I was going to do that. But I couldn't find one. Um, so I have no idea what they're called or where you're getting them from. Um, so I was going to do that and do a full master set on bobbins. Um, but uh, as I said, I couldn't find one, so the only ones that were bobbinated up were the ones for uh, the super size tiger family. So I would do a full master set that way if I could find one of those tops. Um, I do like the thread, the thread drops as well. I don't mind thread drops. I mean, I, could, I suppose I could do a master set on thread drops. Um, but with regards to dye lot issues, as Jen, the caffeinated stitcher, says, doing all the full coverages that you do, by the time you've got so far in and need to order another skein, you probably won't be able to tell the difference anyway. <laughs> if there is any dye lot issues, because they're going to be so spread out, so I'm fair point. So we will, we will see. But yeah, most of mine are all well, I've, not all of them, obviously, because I've got that many. Uh, some of them are fully kitted up, some of them are partially kitted up, some of them are not kitted up at all, and they just steal floss from other <laughs> other projects. It's like mini top frog. That one I've got enough all the colours for that one. 
but I didn't order ones that only had needed like one or two stitches of a colour. So those I just robbed them from one of my other projects. <laughs> They only need like a couple of stitches here or there of them or um the other one needs like maybe 40 stitches. So, so I'm not buying a full scan for 40 stitches. <laughs> Don't know what his problem is today. What's up with you? What? You won't play outside, huh? <laughs> Sound like a parent telling the kid on. Come play outside. It's a nice day. Come play out. So yes, so yes at some point I will I would get a full master set done. Either on thread drops or on poppins. And then I just pull from that for any project I'm working on. And then at least I know what the colour. And then when the colour's getting out, I just order a new one. If it if the dowels don't match, then so be it. I suppose if there's one what needs a predominantly a lot of one colour and it's all gonna be in like the same area, then I probably would order couple of skeins of the same colour just to be on the safe side but if it's just here and there then yeah I don't think it'll matter can you see where I am? yes same thing you get carried away staging you forget to look up to see what's going off <laughs> I keep you in the frame so <laughs> that's a bit of you can definitely be in frame Of him. Seen a bird. I made me laugh yesterday. There was a pigeon on the fence cooing. And the tiger was at the door that leads outside. And you could see this pigeon. And you know what cats do when they're stalking a prey? He was stalking it from right from the door. And it's like, well, you can't get to it anyway because there's a screen in front of you, like from the catio, so they can't get to any birds. But now he was stalking, so he was creeping so slowly <laughs> up to the huge tiger, up to the edge. So, yeah, he was creeping all the way up. And it's like, you're not going to get it anyway. He got about halfway. It took him ages to get there, but he got about halfway, and then the bird flew off. <laughs> It was gutted. <laughs> you could see the look in his face that I've been stalking you for ages. And now you take off. I come home the other day and I opened the, the doors so the cats could go out. And uh, there was a black and white cat in the garden. <coughs> Apologies, that was my phone. Yeah, there was a black and white cat in the garden. I was like, oh, hello, where have you come from? So I have no idea where this came from, but it seems shot off anyway. So yeah, I don't know where this cat came from. I've not seen that one around. I'll say we've seen a, 
a white and brown one. I think it's a rag doll. That one's normally hanging around near the front of the house. But this one was a black and white one. I don't know where this one came from. So, of course, Shane went out to see if he could see the cat. That's actually Shane. Stop trying to catch cats. We've got enough. Three is enough for now. Thank you very much. So I put Tiger wants to play mate. It's like Tiger does not need to play mate. He's got two. <laughs> He's still obsessed with trying to get a main coon. Keeps seeing him on TikTok. He's like, oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Can we get one? He's like, we're not having a main coon. They're massive. He says, yeah, but I'll put Tiger in his place. Mm, maybe so. But I'm sure Tiger will still get a run for his money. <laughs> I went to the doctor's Friday to get the results of my blood test for my cholesterol. Yep, yeah, but that's shut up. So it's meant to be under 400, or well, in the 400s or something like that. Mine was uh, in the 600s. The doctor was like, what have you been doing? Well, eating a lot of crap, obviously. <laughs> says, you need to be eating vegetables. And I was like, well, I would do. I said, but vegetables are being that expensive, you couldn't afford to buy them. I said, now they've only just started coming down. So, I'm on a, a three month, get your cholesterol under, <laughs> in order, or else you win on tablets. So, but, I mean, I have put, fair bit of weight back on from what I lost, but that's from when I broke my finger, I don't know why, but when I broke my finger, when I had those eight weeks off, my weight stayed the same, and as soon as I went back to work, my weight just piled on, so I don't know what happened there, so yes, so now I'm gonna try and get the weight off. <laughs> Like, put your salt out because my blood pressure was a bit high. My blood pressure is normally really, really good. I never have a problem with my blood pressure normally. And he says, Your blood pressure is a little bit high as well. He says, So he says, Cut out your salt. I said, Well, I don't eat salt anyway, unless it's already in something. <laughs> I don't add salt to my meals. I was like, Cut out your salt. Eat more chicken, eat more fish. <laughs> yes, boss. as well. Well, I don't drink water full stop, but I'm going to drink more water and not coffee. I need to try and cut down my coffee. Because apparently that can hire your cholesterol. I was like, nah. <laughs> not going to have my coffee. I need my coffee to survive. Especially when you're working with the boss at work. see this colour. It's 377 now so it's a real pale pink. So you'd say tigers are predominantly black and white. Most of the colours in this tiger is pink. Let's see. Let's see how it turns out. Mind you I have seen someone I think it was on the heaven and earth side I actually did uh, what Facebook page did actually post a picture of this that they've been doing. It was a while back now and they've done the this tiger that I'm doing now, and it looked really, really good, so hopefully 
And it turns out just as good. I don't know if they use the cranic or not. <laughs> good when it's done and then I've got another one to do with these as well so I've got a magical moment in time let's have a two or three <laughs> one of them which I got gifted Oh, the other day at work, I was feeding the, the birds, as you do, and uh, one of the magpies got some food, and a kookaburra swooped in, I don't know where the kookaburra come from, but all of a sudden this kookaburra swooped in to get the food, and the magpie had to go to the kookaburra, so that one flew off, and then two seconds later another kookaburra come flying in to get the, the magpie's food. This magpie laid into the kookaburra. Oh my god. They were proper having a go at it. <laughs> the magpie is vicious. I didn't think the magpies were that vicious, but clearly they are. Oh yeah, it was. had the kookaburra's head in his claws and. proper going for it. to scare them, to stop them from fighting. Well, I think I'm gonna have to stop feeding these birds, they're getting vicious. <laughs> especially um, yeah mini top frog oh my goodness the threads on there now is ridiculous <laughs> obviously I worked a bit on it yesterday on uh, some of the areas are really high confetti but it's only like one or two stitches and then uh, yeah I'm having to move them <laughs> I'm trying to find somewhere to park them then I'm parking them all and it's like I really need to stop parking these Stitch it. It's going to take me absolutely forever to get them all stitched in. So yeah, it's going to save me absolutely ages. I think on the next page I go on to, I think by the time I've done all the part threads, that page is going to be near enough finished. <laughs> There's that many part threads on it. You're back again, tell you.
watched a movie last night. Well, it's any shame to me. I watched a movie. So I watched Black Adam. The one with The Rock. It's alright, I see. I enjoyed it. I'm saying I don't really get a chance to watch many movies because me and Shane don't always have the same taste in movies. I like me. Marvel and stuff like that, and Shane doesn't. <laughs> Shane likes all his car stuff. Like the Fast and Furious and I, I don't mind watching them, but I'm not one that will watch it over and over and over and over again, like Shane. <laughs> So yeah, so it's not very often we sit down and watch a movie together. It's very rare. Yeah. in the neighborhoods in that tree. Shane was like, we should feed them. I like, knew. No. <laughs> yeah, so expensive feeding birds. Because if I start feeding that lorry we're going to end up with thousands like we did the other house. <laughs> that was just ridiculous. <laughs> That often, not. And when it does go off, I jump out my skin. Because the only person who takes me is Shane, or someone saying that a parcel has been attempted to be delivered and you were not in. One of the scam ones that's going around. It's like, look on here to, well, click here to organize for it to be dropped off again. And it's like, yeah, well, one, I haven't ordered anything, so no, there's no parcel coming. <laughs> And two, I'm not that stupid. Hmm. Well, one to say what they, I don't know why I started getting it, but I get one there to tell me how much the checkpot is in the American lottery. My phone doesn't go off very often. <laughs> like the only time it rings is 9 out of 10 when it's Shane ringing me. Or if I've been in touch with a relative for some to be done at the house and the, the tradies ring up to book a time in or whatever, makes me jump every time. Because of that. over in the UK, my phone. I was always ringing because it'd be either one of my brothers or one of my friends or whatever. But it doesn't ring. So it makes me jump out of my skin every time it goes off. <laughs> now, I need to get one more stitch in this area. Can I get it? It's a question. Probably just yes. <laughs> right, what are we at? 
15 minutes. So, <clears throat> we'll do one more strand. And then we'll call it a day. I can get on with my housework. Assuming the cat's up. Yes, I wait till the cat's up before I do any vacuuming. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know why I didn't finish this one off. I've got like five stitches of it. Oh, I might as well do it now. All right, we're going to do two different strands. stitch it's the only thing we're working on like 28 count once you filled it started filling in an area and it gets more and more full I'm trying to find the stitch it's like is there one there or isn't the one there because I like, hear there's two and I'll probably forget where that last one is <laughs> so I've got something to count off so you know where you're going Something that defines one area, or it just stands out really clear. cat outside or a bird outside. Tiger's leaning over the sofa looking out the window. <laughs> Starting with this one, the front here. Okay, it's around the front, yeah? You can hear them through the garage. Oh, now we're coming around the back. They're really loud. <laughs> it's a good job they're so pretty. Oh, we saw a bird we'd never seen over here the other day. Come on from work. And there was a a bird sat on next to our neighbour's fence. And it was a grey bird with a like, pure the whole body was grey and then a black face. And it's like, what's that? Even Shane didn't even know what it was, so I had to look that one up. Apparently it's a real common bird over here. It's protected. 
But apparently it's a real common bird over here. So that, and you see them everywhere, apparently. Oh, first time I've ever seen one. Can't remember what it's called now. So like, okay, that's a new bird. So we're coming to the end of the stitch with me. So, no more stitches. So again, if you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop those down below. Or you can email me, as always. Email address is dizzystitcher at gmail.com. Or I am on Instagram at dizzystitcher. Or if you're in the Facebook group, you can message me in the Facebook group as well. stitches to do and then we'll see how many we've stitches we've got done this day. So we did 289 stitches, so not too bad <clears throat> for roughly an hour. So that's it from me then, guys. So again, thank you very much for watching. Much appreciated. Um, so until my next video, which will probably be my update video at the weekend, uh, take care, stay safe, happy stitching. And thank you very much for watching. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye for now. On the floor. One of them. One of them. The string on the power pole. Over there. <laughs>